Hello and welcome to a new video. We're going to be looking at how to create these chrome rings today. This is for the animation and how to sculpt the model and sculpt the chrome ring. The lighting system and materials will be available in the link below, uh, found through a Gumroad link if you would like to support the channel. Um, so yeah, let's get straight to the video. I wanna whip through this as quick as I can. So this is, uh, I'm currently an illustrator where you will need to require a SVG file format for it to work into Blender. So go and find your designs and basically export a um, SVG uh, into somewhere safe, which we can then import into Blender. So this is just an example of what anything it could be. And all we're gonna to go to is file, export, export as and export it as an SVG. Save that safe and we'll get straight into Blender. Okay guys, we are ready to go and I'm very excited to crack straight through this. So I've done a few tests and we're gonna try and do this as quick as possible. So we're gonna grab all of these and highlight all of these here. They've come through as an SVG. So we've gone to file, import an SVG. And then I'm basically going to go to the uh, curve sections and extrude this shape by say a good, a good volume of amount. Grab all of these and paste these all the way through to all of these into the same properties and that's looking good then we're going to grab a couple shapes which are the opposite ones i'm just going to drag that down to prevent any of that glitching and maybe across on the y-axis as well by pressing g and then y and then we're going to highlight all of these and go to object convert to mesh i'm going to then select one and press ctrl j that's then going to join them all as a mesh but the mesh is really rough at the moment so we're going to go to set the modifier section go to add modifiers then go to remesh and I'm gonna be very careful to slide it so my computer doesn't decide to blow up or something like that. So be very careful when you're dragging this down. My point is 0 0.0005 is about where I wanna be sitting it. I'm gonna right click then click apply and I'm gonna right click shades move. I'm gonna to go to objects, set origin to geometry and press shift S and move that to the middle of my origin point. Then I'm gonna press seven and go to object to sculpt mode. And I'm gonna make sure that my Z axis on the mirror is um, set on and I'm going to go to the smooth section and make sure the smooth section is on and I'm basically going to whip through all of this uh, very quickly for the purpose of the video but take your time on this point this is to get the best results so um, feel free to sit through this and pause the video put some music on chill out yeah it is right whipping through whipping through that will do for this I'm going to come out of here and what I have done is I've prepared a nice curve circle here by pressing Shift S curve circle. And what I'm going to do is move this to the middle of my orange endpoint. I'm going to select this here, add modify and go to curve and then select this curve here. I'm going to press RZ90, uh, sorry RY90 to get it on the right axis. I'm going to press RZ90 even and then scale it up. It looks like it needs to be flipped over again, so RZ90, RZ90, scale this now. You can see that it's now almost gone to the ring look. I want it close to it, almost so it touches, just like that ring design. They usually have a gap here, and then I'm going to press Z and then Z, sorry, Z and then Y, and it's going to then scale the ring inwards, and I'm going to go for something quite thin and quite elegant, so something like this is pretty cool for me. I'm going to go to object convert to mesh to apply the modifiers and boom there we go we have that done and yeah to quickly do the animation which i spoke about in the intro we're going to select the uh, object we're going to go to the object properties in the transform section and then we're going to make we're going to apply the rotation scale by pressing ctrl a click rotation scale make sure we're on frame one click the Z keyframe, go to frame 200. We're gonna put 359 in, click that keyframe, go into the timeline, make sure both keyframes are selected, right click and go to interpolation mode and go to set that to linear. And boom, we have a rotating ring. So as I said in the description, uh, the intro, the Gumroad link will be available in the description below if you're looking for the certain lighting, but if you know how to light the scene, put chicka cool uh, metal material on this and you are good to go um, so yeah hopefully it's helped you guys thank you so much for watching this has been a bit of a quick one but hopefully it's like got you straight to the point i want it to be more informative than seeing through these long uh, videos so uh, thank you so much for all the support i'll catch you guys uh, very very soon